everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Ray Pascal. You're watching Daily Flash, your source of trending news and entertainment. I want to thank you for joining us. So, you ever hear a story that makes you feel like you've lost all hope in humanity yes. and or, or better yet just that our education system mm -hmm. needs some serious serious reworking every day right well Lisa. i heard one of those stories very recently on the radio actually so this gentleman from puerto rico came to new orleans and oh we gotta represent puerto rico <laughs> so he was traveling from puerto rico to new orleans rented a car through hertz prepaid for it okay he arrived at new orleans at the airport tried to pick up his rental car mm -hmm. with his driver's license puerto rican driver's license okay the guy said um we need your passport and he's like mm, i don't have a passport it's a domestic flight and he's like well you're from puerto rico i can't give you this car until you've proven that you are, you know, have U.S. citizenship. Okay. And he's like, um, Puerto Rico is a territory. I don't need to, uh, my license is enough. It kept going back and forth. Eventually the cops were called. Ooh. The guy was actually happy because he's like, okay, great. The cops yeah. is going to have my back and help this guy who clearly needs some more education. The cops sided with Hertz, told the guy he had to leave the premises Ooh. if he wasn't going to prove his citizenship, and then suggested he call ICE on the gentleman from Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh. For those of you at home who are confused, maybe you also need a little extra schooling, but basically you, Puerto Rico is a territory mm -hmm. of America, so this gentleman has every right to do whatever he wants in America with just his Puerto Rico driver's license. Yes. Ultimately, Hertz has come out and they've since apologized and said they're gonna look into retraining for their staff. <laughs> ah, but I just- Retraining. This is, yeah. It's just sad. It's I'm a surprised. sad state of affairs where that, Full grown adults aren't don't aren't aware of that relationship that we have. Right. Well, and I'm sure I'm I'm guessing the conversation probably got heated on both sides. You know, which is probably, <laughs> I want my rental car. Right, I gave and you and money I, you for could it. Imagine. Like, but uh, but it surprises me that a company like Hertz. It's not like they they haven't dealt with this before. It's not like you know people are coming to Puerto Rico for the first time to rent a car. Maybe it was a young person. I've I've heard stories of people at a drive through windows who get a $2 bill and they think it's fake and they give it back. I mean, it's just someone yeah. who's ignorant, you know, they just are ignorant yeah. to whatever that, that situation is. In this case, the situation of understanding how territories work yeah. and America's relationship with other countries. So. Yeah. So Stay maybe, in school, people. Yeah, let's, and let, let's encourage our educators to actually focus on education and teaching things like history. I and think that's a good idea. States and et cetera, et cetera. All right. All right. Well, more than 20,000 millennials and Gen Zers from 10 different countries were recently surveyed about social media's influence on their spending habits, and 50% admitted it does influence their desire to purchase items they cannot afford. Experts say the pressure is leading some to take on a second job just to make ends meet. Others admitted to putting off significant life decisions like buying a home or starting a family. Social media's impact on mental health is well documented and it affects all age groups. Think of all the real housewives who have filed for bankruptcy trying to keep up with their own images. You know, I have to say, even though I have seen things online and uh, bought things that I've liked, it's never been because of a celebrity. So I can say mm -hmm. confidently that I am not influenced by a celebrity telling me to buy something, which is amazing to me how these influencers and celebrities yeah. can get crazy amounts of money for plugging something on on their feed or holding a can of whatever energy drink or something. Yeah. If I'm going to get it, it's because I feel like you've sold it, like it's going to benefit me in some way, not because sure. this person I admire is holding it. So I always find that so interesting with this new age of social yeah, media it's, influence. It's hard to understand the value that companies are putting into influencers based on how many likes they have, how many sure. followers they yeah. have, because how do you know those likes and those followers are legit? How are do you know that leads, more than yeah. half of the 500,000 followers you have are not from some bot in Russia? I mean, it yeah. just, I'm always amazed that they're willing to spend this kind of money because I'm with you. I don't see a lot of people going out and buying a product that, let's say, Kim Kardashian picks up on a right. tour through CVS. I don't know. I just don't, I don't see it. But maybe, you know, maybe that does happen. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe, maybe we're wrong. I All doubt right. it. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay with us. We have a lot more trend news and entertainment coming your way right here on Daily Flash.